Okay. And the best part is, pagising mo sa umaga, ang unang muna kung makikita ay yung anak mong galing sa labas. <laughs> what I mean is, the best part of this place is an easy access to the view of the Taal Volcano. Look at that, guys. Isn't that just amazing? So now, let's take a tour of the observatory here in Tagaytay. Let's go! Here's the lobby! So as you can see, there's so many lobby or no entrance niya pa so super presentable. It's like a big rest house mansion. We got the big door, the grand big door. So this is the receiving area. This is where they initially welcome the guests that arrive dito sa observatory in Tagaytay. And guys, look at that view. Unang unang mahikita mo when you get into that big door is the amazing view of Tagaytay. So now we're gonna take you down to the cafe and the rooms. But a small bit of a fact: to get down to the cafe, it's ninety steps. Kasi sobrang taas ng steps But when you look at the view Baka madistract ka Watch your steps please Okay So For those who are planning to get married oh. I think this is a pretty good place For you to have your ceremony diba? Hindi naman uso yung mga grand weddings niyan Because of what's happening But as you can see Ang ganda ng view pa baba And I'm assuming this is the path Where the bride would actually walk down so, I'll pretend that I'm a bride again after 10 and 11 years. Meron na silang permanent arch here where I believe na pwedeng designan with flowers and then the bride would go ahead and walk down here. Diba? And for sure, that's where the altar would be. That's where the ceremony would take place. Diba? Napakaganda ng backdrop. It's very natural, scenic, and breathtaking backdrop. Back. There! Diba? I do. We're going now to some of the spots of the place wherein you can have the holding area for a few cocktails before the events. Bukas kaya ang pinto? I don't think so. It's not. Okay, so the door is closed. We are unfortunately unable to get inside. But what I'm thinking is, if you have a wedding in this location, this is where the bride and groom would enter the reception, diba? Wherein they will be welcomed by their guests. And since sarado siya, papakita natin kung ano itsura niya. It's like a function hall. It's two floors. This is where the bride and groom would um, assumably go down and be welcomed by their guests. Right before you go down to the function hall, meron ako nakikita ng door and, you know, a window. So, I'm assuming that would be a room where the bride would be having her retouch or it's where she's gonna have her hair and makeup done, right? For her wedding. Sobrang ganda! Oh my gosh! Okay, so let's go around here. Again, this is where your guests can wait and see another part of the wedding, another view if really, you know, we still have to really follow social distancing um, protocols. Kita mo from here yung pinaka ceremony if that's where you're gonna ha want to have it. Okay guys, 
So this pavilion can hold up to 120 guests in a normal setup. But during the pandemic, it can actually hold around 80. That part is where the guests would probably come inside the pavilion. And this is where the bride and groom will be you know, doing their grand entrance. Diba? So perfect venue for your weddings or engagements or any party that you may take. Look how spacious that is. So my family was actually looking for a place where we could spend the holidays differently, hindi na dun sa condo. So we wanted to look for a place where we could all relax, medyo malamig, and malapit lang from the city. And this place is actually available at Airbnb. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you now to the cafe and to the rooms para makita nyo yung itsura ng mga different rooms because we availed of three. So that's perfect timing for you to check it out. Link is down here below where and you could check the observatory. Tara, let's go. Observatory here in Tagaytay has its own cafe and it's open for guests that are not necessarily um, naka check in sa Airbnb. So they serve pastas and coffee and some pastries and dessert. But what I'm going to be showing you is yung pinaka Airbnb kung saan kami nag rent ng rooms. Overnight lang naman, but we have three sizes of rooms that I'm gonna be showing you. So the best part, by the way, guys, is that. The room comes with a free plated breakfast. Ilan depende kung ano yung room na kinuha mo. Um, so if your if your room is actually for two people, then you're gonna have two plated breakfast. If you have rooms that is um, allowable of four persons, then you're gonna get four plated breakfast. So I'm gonna show you the rooms. The price range is actually between five thousand and nine thousand, depending on the headcount. So let's show you the different types of rooms that they have. <laughs> so as I mentioned earlier, we were able to rent three rooms. Unfortunately, my family is taking some naps, and since we have a baby in the family, nagnanap si baby, so we cannot make a storbo unless uh, because baka bad mood siya mamaya ang Christmas Eve. So, the room that I am showing you right now is yung room namin. Um, the parents actually rented the one that is good for more people. May sala siya. But, look, it's quite spacious already. Dalawa yung bed, so two people can stay in each bed. May dalawang chairs din dito. Very good lighting. Very classy. Creamy. Beigey. So, earth tones. Workspace where you know if kailangan mag work, they have that here too, and a very spacious bathroom. See, ang ganda ng design, still very modern. It's very obvious na bago lang yung observatory. Okay. And the best part is, pagising mo sa umaga, ang una mo na kumakita ay yung anak mong galing sa labas. So, what I mean is, the best part of this place is an easy access to the view of the Taal Volcano. Look at that, guys. Isn't that just amazing?
And now, let us show you where exactly the observatory is. As mentioned, this is not along the main ridge of Tagaytay. If you're coming from Santa Rosa, you turn left after the Tagaytay Market, same road pagpapunta ka ng Picnic Grove, Tagaytay Highlands, or Napa at Crosswinds. A few hundred meters before Picnic Grove, you would see a signage on your right that says Talisay. Turn right there and just go straight for roughly around 2.5 kilometers. Then when you see the road split into two, stay to the right. You won't miss it since there's a signage that says the observatory. So there you go crew, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope na kano kayo ng bagong idea for a perfect getaway na very unusual sa mga common na pinupuntahan natin dito sa Tagaytay. So this can be used for certain events, weddings, engagements, or whatsoever. And the best part is it's another great find for a perfect relaxation getaway from Metro Manila. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Keep safe!